All right, okay, we have to switch CDs now. Remove the honor list CD and insert Star Trek Klingon Disc 1 immediately. So we're done with Disc 3. Wrong CD, Qua. Wrong CD for the Qua. Hija, yes, we have the right one. Look at this, I'm applying what I learned in the language lab. True Motion is a registered trademark of the Duck Corporation. He just said my mother is a smooth forehead. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> How's the volume? Starring Robert O'Reilly as Gowron. He wants a booty. This about Klingons. We kill anything that stands in our way. We enjoy the taste of innocent blood. Lies. Honor is what we treasure. Honor above all things. And you, you are as weak and frightened as a Quahom. And there is no honor in killing a Quahom. A titmouse. Small animal. But you, no. You outsiders, you see only our fierceness, our love of battle. You do not see the tear that shapes our every act. This is why I, Gauron, leader of the Klingon High Council, have decided to break the secrecy that shrouds our culture and show you, give me arc, that which truly makes us Klingon. Frightened young human. Yes, you should be. Your strength, your skills are no better than that of a Klingon boy, but that will change. When you have finished this holodeck adventure with me, this test, you will have learned more than how to live as a Klingon. You will learn how to be. Klingon. Ooh. You will no longer be knob, weak as a quahom, but you will be a warrior. Then it will be an honor to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill us after we beat the game. Take your knife. Artage. <laughs> ah, <laughs> there's nothing tastes as good as the beast killed in the chanta, eh? <laughs> the hunt. Ah, and here is the hunter himself. Fuck, come, come. Oh, there's the hooves. Here is the boy whose knocked brought down the largest dick knock ever to be taken down on this planet. Eh? He took down the largest dick knock. Yes, I'm proud to call him son. Oh, yeah, that's right. And tomorrow... After the right of ascension, I will. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, yeah. Look at the um. So yeah, if it's spinning, it means it's nothing. It's kind of counterintuitive. So if it's spinning, that's nothing. But then once you go over a hot spot, it'll switch off. So like that, the 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 hooves ticknog or whatever ticknog hooves. Hooves of the ticknog beast. Yeah. The ticknog is a dangerous carnivore native to Tanganyika. The skin is tough and leathery, and the ticknog is a formidable prey. There are no subtitles, I guess, in the game. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there wasn't even like an options menu we could have. All right, so I think that's it. 
They said you had to hover slowly, but that looked like the only thing. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not really holding anything anyway. Oh, wait. There's something here. Hooves of the Ticknock. Oh, same thing. The Ticknock is a dangerous carnivore native to Tanganyika. Yeah, and you can double click to stop her, that's right. And then double click to resume. I'll be prouder still to call him Warrior Son. <laughs> <laughs> to my son, who has chosen to follow the path of his grandfather's. <clears throat> Tupac! Kapla! 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 I was thinking this could be the, um, this could be that stretched, uh, ancestor thing. Ancestor Tapestry hut. honoring the life and honorable death of Egon, yep. first head of the house of Sapich on Tanganyika. It represents the story of Kultok, the famous opera. Egon yeah, right. alone stood toe to toe with the largest Ticknock beast ever seen. With only a Datog knife, he brought it down. The natives, terrified by a warrior of such prowess, surrendered themselves wholly to Aegon. Thus alone, he began the conquest of this part of the Klingon Imperial frontier. Kind of seems to be a momentum killer, though, to have to stop the scene. It kills the momentum of the thing. I wonder if, like, these descriptions are actually, like, necessary. Oh, yeah, okay. Save name here. All right, we'll do our first one. Start, start. Continue. Message from the holodeck. Yes, continue. <laughs> It pleases me that I should be here at my friend Torn's side to watch his son become a man. Gowron, your presence brings my house honor. May the house always deserve it. I have brought your son the channel of gifts. Honor me by taking them. What? The Fuck! The sync synchronization is all gone. Okay, now we can actually make the decision point. So it doesn't matter what you... Uh... Indecision, it is like a disease with you off-worlders. You think too much. There is a Klingon saying, act and you shall have dinner. Think and you shall be dinner. You understand, human? Take action. <laughs> now. Duh. Try again. Hmm? Okay, so I think that's a death. deck program, Klingon Immersion Studies. We're playing from time stop. Yep. Zero, 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 one, zero, zero. Now wrong. All right, so we saw what happens wrong. if you don't do something. Your presence brings my house honor. May the house always deserve it. I have brought your son the channel of gifts. Honor me by taking them. Oh, it seems Fuck. out of sync anyway. All right, we'll honor you, Gowron. We'll take those gifts. My house thanks you. My house thanks you for all you have given us, Gowron. I above all know what you give up for me, for the Empire. When my ancestors conquered Tanganyika and set up rule over the planets of this sector, they did so to the service of the Empire. But the Empire's needs have changed, and we must change with it. Others here on Tanganyika do not see things as you do, my friend. The ancient houses have ruled these planets many years, and it has brought them great wealth. They may not be as willing as you to give up their power. For the future of the Empire, we must sacrifice the planet our grandfathers conquered. And that will bring us great honor. Enough! Do you think Torn would allow me to come to harm in this house? I trust the house of St. Peach to protect me. Leave! If that's our dad he's supposed to get. <laughs> <laughs> kissy, wife, kissy. Guitar looks well. Yes. Do you regret that you did not take her for your wife? She has brought you great happiness. And a son. There is nothing to regret. <laughs> Why do you stand? Put the presents down. Yeah, it looks like we were struggling to hold them. All right, there is the honor. It's hard to believe one so clumsy and slow could even Begin to hunt a Ticknog. My son saves his skills for the hunting of beasts and enemies. All right, yeah. So if we have to do that, I don't understand. Maybe we should. Maybe we should do that. So we got the gifts, and then go back. No, continue. We have to restart to. 
Let's see. I don't know, but yeah, but we're getting the same sync problems. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if this fixes it. Uh, resume. I'm gonna get. Would you continue your quest with one of the following, or start your journey anew down the river of blood? Now we will continue with gifts. Holodeck initializing. Please wait. Let's see if that fixes. They'll probably start us from the start of the video clip. Houses have stood door to door for generations. Oh no, they don't. We continue to be enemies. <laughs> Hold it's still. I can't believe one so stupid and weak is capable of running a Klingon house. Uh, why, Katar, flirting at your age? Uh, what will Torgon say? Oh. Uh, Throw this back out. Uh, by him! Uh, ah. The celebration was declared a Lachno. Party. You have invited all the spirits of our Klingon ancestors. Tradition dictates that all are welcome to the Lopno, even ancient rivals, even me. You great. Look, Matla. We choose you, mother. You side with Buck against your own mother? Garbage. Or do you just test me? You are a boy until tomorrow, Puck. And I am still your mother. Do as you are told! Wait, what did you tell me to do? We're playing from time stop. Zero, zero. Zero, two. Zero, zero. All right, I must have missed what the prompt was. Our houses have stood door to door for generations. Must okay, so that's not our dad. Continue to be enemies. <laughs> so this is probably the guy that's going to kill our dad. stupid and weak is capable of running a Klingon house. Uh, why, Katar? Flirting at your age, what will Torgon say? Throw oh. this back out. Garbage. By him. The celebration was declared a Lachno. You have invited all the spirits of our Klingon ancestors. Tradition dictates that all are welcome to the Lachno, even ancient rivals, even me, Katar. You great. Look, Matla. So. Are you deaf? Did you hear what I said? No. Would you disobey me and dishonor your ancestors by ignoring the dictates of the law? No. Listen to my words. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I guess. From time stops. Wow. Oh. Zero zero. Zero two. Zero zero. All right, let's pa let's pause it here. Yeah, I don't understand what the prompt is. We clicked on her and we died. We clicked on him and we died. That was wrong too. So maybe we just don't click on anything. I don't know what other option there was to click on there. I guess we'll find again, find out again. Ooh. Yeah, it was hard to say. Like I don't, I missed what. Uh, I guess because she said in Klingon, it, it's it was one of the questions in Klingon. I'll have to try to listen. It's harder when there's no subtitles. If there were subtitles, I might be able to remember. What the question was in like from the commands category but from the language lab but as it is it's hard when there's no subtitles actually can we click on anything from here so yeah yes. Hovlat, a symbolic representation of the constellation known as the tracker the constellation contains the star which is believed to be where Kalis was pointing when he said I will be there. Yeah, that's my hope too, Glitch. Well, we did the whole ling language lab thing, so hopefully we're uh, we're good with that. She's gonna pull off the knife, and then it'll be available again. Oh, this is something too. Striped banner with the colors of the planet Tanganyika on a field of green. It represents Tanganyika's allegiance to the Emperor and the Empire. It has come to symbolize the enemy for those on Tanganyika that do not agree with the Empire's and Gowron's latest actions. Tanganyika. Oh, re oh, really? That's funny. Did you also see Pinky in the Brain, Drew? To have stood door to door for generations, must we continue to be enemies? <laughs> I can't believe one so stupid and weak is capable of running a Klingon house. Uh, why, Katar, 
flirting at your age. What will Torgon say? Throw oh. this back out. By him! Ah. The celebration was declared a Loch no. You have invited all the spirits of our Klingon ancestors. Tradition dictates that all are welcome to the Lopno, even ancient rivals, even me, Katar. Yeah, okay, this. Great. That's ahead of the rival. That's ahead of the rival house. Okay, so I guess we do nothing. I knew you would not dishonor your house. I accept your welcome. Do not confuse tolerance with welcome, Fox. You may stay, but keep clear of Torgon and Gauron. Do not spoil the day with politics! A pity I did not bring my mate. Tavar could learn so much from you about Klingon hospitality. If your father asked you to get him some food. Go! I will see to these. All right, so I think we'll give out a Cedric for every three, like, right decisions we get through. All right, there's the brother's uh, statue. All right, we got some food. Do we get some Heart of Tark? I see the rocks and the, the serpent hey, worms. Warning. Stay away from the Rokek blood pie. Chokto's mate brought it, and she could overcook a dicus plant. <laughs> if Chokto heard that, he'd rip out your tongue. Worse, he would have his mate cook it and make me eat it. <laughs> My mate's grow cake is the best in the world. Ah, true. A recipe from a Federation woman, Hillman. The secrets in a liquid spice they call Wutka. 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 Where's the food? Bring her on some gach. Ooh. Oh, some gach. Uh, is that the beans? No, that's After the pie. What we have told you, you Shit. would bring this raw cake to Gauron. Shit. He asked us gach. A smart boy would bring it to him. I panicked. I panicked. Time stop. Zero, zero. Zero, three. Zero, zero. Talk. <laughs> a word of warning. Stay away from the Rokek blood pie. Chokto's mate brought it, and she could overcook a dicus plant. <laughs> if Chokto heard that, he'd rip out your tongue. Worse, he would have his mate cook it and make me eat it. <laughs> My mate's grow cake. <clears throat> is the best in the world. Ah, true. A recipe from a Federation woman, Hillman. The secrets in a liquid spice they call Wutka. 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 <laughs> ah, where's the food? Bring her on some gach. All right, um, is this one? over a woman on your way here. For a woman? I doubt he would know what to do with a woman. <laughs> Enough joking. Soon we will go too far and find a gosh with Taj at that road. <laughs> Open your journal, boy. It's our journal. Oh, the opera. Do you know what it is? The young are ignorant of their family's history. It is a score to cold talk. Kultok. The opera. Can it be you have never heard the opera that tells the tale of our family's house? Oh, McCool. Oh, McCool. Reshav tak yak bo edge glok ba. Torn, the boy is ignorant. Perhaps I have spent too much time teaching him to hunt, brother, and not enough teaching him to sing. <laughs> <laughs> the next, open another, another, yes. Is that a toolbox? 
The hell is that? Ah, someone's an octa crystal. Oh, it's useful as platinum. <laughs> the crystal is bigger than it. the Romulan killer. Oh, wait! I want to kill her. Patad! Oh, grab the boy's knife. Do you think you can defend yourself against the hawk we with the ghost mectars? Your knife against the Romulan hunter killer probe. You must stalk it as it stalks us. Well, can I just, just playing grab it? Time stop. Zero, 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 four, zero, zero. So the hunter killer has a mind the of its own? It's useful as platinum. <laughs> the crystal is big. It's been pre programmed. Oh, wait! I hunt a killer! Patad! Did you not hear what I said? Patad! Oh. Or someone will die! We're playing from time stop. Zero, zero. I'm not sure in good application of what zero, I learned four. in the zero, language zero. lab. Not the I remember it was one of the commands. By the, <laughs> the crystal is bigger than it. Maybe it's like hold still? Oh, wait. Or stay remain, maybe. I hunt a killer. Don't do anything. Patad! Yeah. Don't do anything. The other thing would be to click on the crystal. Yeah, no. Oh, they were going after Galron. He did not even see the face of his enemies. I must have vengeance. Do not let vengeance cloud your mind. There is a ritual to be performed. Vengeance will wait for that. The death ritual. I will perform the ritual. No! It is not your place. Punk. I will do the ritual. Dad. <laughs> oh! Pink blood. May you find honor now with the Black Fleet, brother. No gratitude for like saving his life. Come on, Garon. Where's your gratitude, man? He jumped in front of that speeding Romulan hunter killer. A Romulan assassin pro. It would have killed me. Had not your father stepped in and taken its full force. Yeah, thank you. Some recognition of the sacrifice. Has the seal been tampered with? No, I sealed the Chernobyl myself days ago, long before we left for Tanguaniqua. A cowardly way to kill. No, Klingon would use such a method. I wish I could agree with you, Quailan, but the days when that was true are gone. Now there are too many Klingons who would use such methods. Fuck. <laughs> A clever device. Fuck. So effective. Your hatred of Gauron and my brother are well known. True. I would weep for Nina, but there is no proof. <laughs> you destroy the proof. Huh? Fuck. You Varengan Hadiba. I shall revenge myself on you and your house! No! Oh man, the chief rival's the guy. No. Lick it, lick this it. This is the knife that killed the man who killed your father. I give it to you to show that the circle of vengeance is closed. But that didn't kill our that didn't kill our dad. Who's the hunter killer? I understand the passion of your action. I too have killed for vengeance. But Oops. Alright, might as well get a description of it. The Ktag knife. Traditional Klingon warrior's knife. 
a vicious three-bladed weapon. The Dak Thag is commonly used in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as in many ceremonies. Touching or unsheathing a Dak Thag during an honor challenge changes it into a death challenge. Ooh, unsheathing. Yeah, not, not enough to, Daryl, not enough. I've not seen enough Star Trek. To, I never knew this character. I mean, probably had like, seen him maybe once. I never knew his name or anything about him, no. The circle of vengeance is far from closed. You saw yourself. He tried to destroy the probe. Vok condemned himself. He killed my brother. Yes, but think, Quillen. Vok is a small man from this provincial world. To place an assassin probe in my belongings would be impossible for any single man. The package was tampered with long before it got here. There were others involved. And now that he is dead, we may never know who they are. I do not regret what I have done. But you are right. There are others involved. I will swear an oath. A blood oath to find all who are responsible for the death of my friend. I will join you no. now. <laughs> you must stay here, protect the house of Sir Peach. Vork may attack your house. But I must. No. You must stay here. The blood oath. I need allies. You eat. would have to be another. Pok. Me. Swear a blood oath of vengeance with me. Oh shit. Ah. I will swear the blood oath. I swear on the river of blood in my veins. Vengeance on all those who killed my friend Torn. Kapla! Kapla! Wait! Hawk has yet to complete the second rite of ascension. In the eyes of the Nug Klach, he is still a boy. Would you have him seek vengeance before he has become a man? Yes, yes, I would. No, Quelan. I will not take a boy on a man's voyage. Tonight! We will finish the rite of ascension. Then, we will seek out all those who killed your brother. It's our uncle. Hey, -o. Here's the right of ascension. Are you ready, Hawk, son of Torn? Do you wish to take your place among the great warriors of your house? I do, I do. Seath, son of Aegon. Seagath, son of Seath. Jan, son of Seagath. And Bok, son of Jan. Son of Kumbok. Sam by Mars, thanks for the follow. If Welcome. So, step forward. Not every man has the courage to be a warrior. Not every man can make the voyage through the river of blood even after he has chosen to try. Will you make this voyage? Hawk, son of Torn. Sure. You have chosen. The night before your father's rite of ascension, I lay awake while Torn slept soundly. In the morning, I asked him how he had been able to sleep so well. He said, my fathers and fathers before me have traveled the river of pain. I know the courage is in my blood, and I am not afraid. Not 
relationship. Come, it is time. Show your heart! Today, you are a warrior. All right, to the fire, to the fire. You're just stabbing us in the gut. There, two more steps, and you'll have done what no non Klingon has ever done. Ah, oh, ah, 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 pain. Ah, pain stick, pain ah, stick. It is finished. You have done well, Pop. In one day's time, the House of Sipish has lost one warrior and gained another. You do us honor, Monk. Thank you. I see it in your eyes. One who has traveled the river of pain. Others will see it too. And they will know that you have chosen the way of the warrior. And they will be afraid. That too is a weapon. Gowron, your men have finished analyzing the probe. Come, let us see what they have found. The probe was most likely manufactured in the Solteris system within Romulan-controlled space. Probes are illegal. They're contraband in almost all known sectors. Efficient, deadly, accurate, but very difficult to program correctly and even more difficult to come by. Unless you're a Romulan living in Solteris system. Even then, the manufacturing alone would bankrupt a small house. Do you think there are Romulans involved? No. Romulans want my defeat, <laughs> not my death. <laughs> Many things are difficult to come by, but nothing is impossible if you know where to look. I have traveled through the dark reaches of space without learning where the dishonorable wretches do their dealings. Yes. And you have brought the fruits of their dishonorable hatred into this house. Do you blame me, Katal, for your mate's death? No. But I entrust you with my son's life. Do not treat it carelessly. I, too, can swear a mother's blood oath. You would not want that. I would not. Ah. <laughs> Uh-oh, was that the growl? Is that the mating growl? Do not come because others want you to, Park. You must know your own mind. Will you come? Yes. Or no. <clears throat> Let's see no for a death, see what that does. I do not understand. You made it through the rite of ascension. Many Klingons could not make it through such an ordeal. Yet, you balk at a chance of adventure. The hunt through the galaxy for your sworn enemies. It is clear you have not paid attention. <laughs> Come back when you are rested. Try again, computer and program. <laughs> I'm a single ready to mingle. Oh shit, that's like a hard death? Oh my god, they like throw you and I don't like Fuck. it. They threw you out of the game completely. Oh no. Oh, we didn't have a good save point. Oh damn. Wow, so that's like a hard death. So apparently there's a difference. Fuck. Uh... Alright, we gotta be saving. I didn't realize that. I thought you just whenever you chose the wrong and I did that intentionally too, which is the kicker. Door to door for generations. Uh... Continue Fuck. to be enemies. I thought they just to took you so back to the start of the video. Of running a Klingon house. Yeah. Uh, why, Qatar, flirting at your age? Uh, what will Torgon say? Throw oh. this back out. There's no way to skip the video clips, is there? Ah, uh, 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 uh,
and who have invited all the spirits of our Klingon ancestors. Tradition dictates that all are welcome to the Lopno, even ancient rivals, even me, Katar. You great. Look, Matla. Look, Ratha. I knew you would not dishonor your house. I accept your welcome. Do not confuse tolerance with welcome, Fox. You may stay, but keep clear of Torgon and Gowron. Do I'm not gonna be a lot less likely to with politics. intentionally a choose bad things. I did things not there. bring my mate. Tavar could learn so much from you about Klingon hospitality. Ooh, it's the mating growl. Your father asked you to get him some food. Go. I will see to these. Those were the gifts. This is probably the best part, though, so far. A word of warning. Stay away from the Rokek blood pie. Chokto's mate rotted and she could overcook a dicus plant. <laughs> if Chokto heard that, he'd rip out your tongue. Worse, he would have his mate cook it and make me eat it. <laughs> My mate's grow cake is the best in the world. Ah, true. A recipe from a Federation woman, human. The secrets in a liquid spice they call Wodka. 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 Where's the food? Bring her on some gah. Oh, yeah, okay, here's the best part. <laughs> over a woman on your way here. A oh, woman? I doubt he would know what to do with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Enough joking. Soon we will go too far and find a gosh vitage at that point. <laughs> Open your jaw, no, boy. The do you not know what it is? The young are ignorant of their family's history. It is a score to cool talk. Cool talk. Can it be you have never heard the opera that tells the tale of our family's house? Singing. Oh, McCool. Oh, McCool. Reshav talk yuck bo edge gok bo. Thorn, the boy is ignorant. Perhaps I have spent too much time teaching him to hunt, brother, and not enough teaching him to sing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the next, open another, another, yes. Uh. Ah, an octa crystal. It's as useful as latinum. <laughs> the crystal is bigger than it. Oh, wait! A hunter killer! Patad! Do nothing. Stay still. Shouldn't everyone just duck at this point? I'm, I'm worried about saving them. It's going to desync the dialogue. I must have vengeance. Do not let vengeance cloud your mind. There is a ritual to be performed. Vengeance will wait for that. You are right. I will perform the ritual. No. It is not your place. Oh.
Yeah, we should have done the outfit. Uh, I like how they just all end right there. Boom. I right, stop on a dime. May you find honor now with the Black Fleet, brother. Assassin Pro. It would have killed me had not your father stepped in and taken its full force. Has the seal been tampered with? No. I sealed the Chernobyl myself days ago, long before we left for Tanguaniqua. A cowardly way to kill. No, Klingon would use such a method. I wish I could agree with you, Quailan, but the days when that was true are gone. Now there are too many Klingons who would use such methods. Fuck. A clever device. Fuck. So effective. Your hatred of Gauron and my brother are well known. True. I would weep for neither, but there is no proof. <laughs> Destroy the proof! Ah. Fuck. You Varengan Hadiba. I shall revenge myself on you and your house! No! Ah. Ah. This is the knife that killed the man who killed your father! I give it to you to show that the circle of vengeance is closed. I understand the passion of your action. I too have killed for vengeance, but the circle of vengeance is far from closed. You saw yourself. He tried to destroy the probe. Vok condemned himself. He killed my brother. Yes, but think, Quillen. Vok is a small man from this provincial world. To place an assassin probe in my belongings would be impossible for any single man. The package was tampered with long before it got here. There were others involved. And now that he is dead, we may never know who they are. I do not regret what I have done. But you are right. There are others involved. I will swear I know. A blood oath to find all who are responsible for the death of my friend. I will join you in... No! You must stay here, protect the house of St. Peach. Work may attack your house. But I must... No! You must stay here. I need allies. It would have to be another. Swear a blood oath of vengeance with me. Ah! I swear on the river of blood in my veins, vengeance on all those who killed my friend Torn. Kapla! Kapla! Wait! Yet to complete the second rite of ascension. In the eyes of the Nug Klach, he is still a boy. Would you have him seek vengeance before he has become a man? No, Quailan. I will not take a boy on a man's voyage. Tonight, we will finish the rite of ascension. Then, we will seek out all those who killed your brother. Are you ready, Hawk, son of Torn?
Do you wish to take your place among the great warriors Kupla. of your Ka house? Kupla. Kupla. Damn, that's fun See. to say. Hippolyte Chan. Of yes, it is. Thank you for the hundred bits video. Seagoth, son of Seath. Kapla. Jan, son of Seagoth. Bok, son of Jan. Torn. Morgan son Cern, 1982. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. If so, step forward. Not every man has the courage to be a warrior. Not every man can make the voyage through the river of blood even after he has chosen to try. Will you make this voyage? Hawk, son of Torn. You have chosen. Have I? The night before your father's right of ascension, I lay awake while Torn slept soundly. I am Dorian. In the morning, I asked him how he had been able to sleep so well. He said, My fathers and fathers before me have traveled the river of pain. I know the courage is in my blood. And I am not afraid. Come, it is time. Amping up the tension. Show your heart! Today! Steps and you have done what no non Klingon has ever done. Ah! So it's kind of weird there. Gowron kind of breaks the fourth wall. Sort of admitting that uh, we're not the, actually the sun, or it's just a simulation. It's kind of strange. It is finished. You have done well, Pop. In one day's time. The House of Sipish has lost one warrior. Yeah, I guess we should we should save. I just didn't. I don't want to save too much because the problem is, um, then the the dialogue's now going to be out of sync probably. Gained another. You do us honor, Mok. Oh, fortunately, it didn't. It wasn't a problem there. In your eyes. One who has traveled the river of pain. Others will see it too. And they will know that you have chosen the way of the warrior. And they will be afraid. That too is a weapon. Uh, Gowron, your men have finished analyzing the probe. Come, let us see what they have found. The probe was most likely manufactured in the Solterra system. Within Romulan controlled space. Probes are illegal. They're contraband in almost all known sectors. Efficient, deadly, accurate, but very difficult to program correctly, and even more difficult to come by. Unless you're a Romulan living in Solteris system. Even then, the manufacturing alone would bankrupt a small house. Do you think there are Romulans involved? No. Romulans want my defeat. Not my death. <laughs> Many things are difficult to come by, but nothing is impossible if you know where to look. I have traveled through the dark reaches of space without learning where the dishonorable wretches do their dealings. Yes, and you have brought the fruits of their dishonorable hatred into this house. Do you blame me, Katar, for your mate's death? No, but I entrust you with my son's life. Do not treat it carelessly. I, too, can swear a mother's blood oath. You would not want that. 
I would not. Ah. Do not come because others want you to, Paul. You must know your own mind. Will you come? Yes. Or no. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we'll come, we'll come. Have your things beamed up to my ship. Do not take too much. A farmer's treasures are a warrior's burden. Debris! If we take the Bortas, the ship will be recognized long before we've arrived. They will know that Gowron, the head of the Klingon High Council, is coming. She is right. The Bortas is too easily recognized. Take my ship. Take the Tagana. Use it to find my brother's killers. Thank you, Quaylon. We have smelled the prey. Now let us, let us follow the trail. Let's do it. But whose eyes are those? Fox? Or yours, human? Ooh. We shall see. We shall, we shall. Okay, that was like a Curb Your Enthusiasm stare down. Right, should we save here at the start of the, uh, what was it called? The Tagana? The Tagana ship? Oops. Hey, John. Dev, we, the Tagana is prepared. We await your orders. Show me the weapons array. You, wait here! Come here! We were told to wait, though, by Gower. Hold down the oscillator relay while I prime this node. I'm gonna say no, because so-and-so told us to stay and not do anything. Decoy! I said come here! Leave him! I gave him an order. See? Huh? 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 You understand. You know how to obey. <laughs> there we go. There we go. What the hell? I will take the station now. Who are you to take the station from me? Who are you that would stop me? Damn, son. Do you wish to see your home one last time? Planet View. When I left my home, I was not much older than you. It was many years before I saw it again. When I did return, it was as a warrior. No one just stands around a Klingon ship. Everything must have its use. Even you, Prok. Choose your post, but choose it carefully. Remember what you have seen. I think I may take the post that everybody else was going after. That one. You want my station? <laughs> Come then. You'll have to learn to operate this console. Now that you're going to take it away from me. <laughs> this node controls the shields. You know what they do. <laughs> this powers up the cloaking device. This initiates a tractor beam. And this, this, is the ship's disruptors. Remember them so that you don't accidentally fire the tractor beam. <laughs> Next time, challenge someone who you have some chance of defeating. <laughs> 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 
No, no, it's a fan. Replaying from time stop. Zero, zero. Wow. One, zero. Why is that a death? Zero, zero. No one just stands around a Klingon ship. Everything oh, must have no. its use. Even you, Pock. Choose your post, but choose it carefully. Remember, what if we take Gowron's post as the captain? You have seen. I'm gonna take your post, Garon. <laughs> what? You would captain the ship? Your eyes are bigger than your head, Park. Even if you could take it from me, you wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> take again! Yeah. We're playing from time stop. Zero, zero. This is one, time zero. To play the fool. Are we supposed to beat zero, up on the old zero. guy? Because that's what everyone else no is doing. No one just stands around a Klingon ship. Everything must have its use. Even you, Pock. Choose your post, but choose it carefully. Remember what you have seen. Yeah. All right, we'll be it. pick up on the old guy like everybody else is. Who challenges me for my station? Go away, little nothing! <sighs> Oh, I thought we were going to punch him. <laughs> well done, Puck. You chose the weakest link and attacked. The console is yours. As long as you can keep it. A word of warning, Puck. The old man is cagey. You have the console, but this is not over between you. Watch your back. The hunter probe came from the Tartara system. But it could not have come directly. An exchange was made somewhere between the Romulan space and Klingon space. I know a place where many such exchanges are made. Barca system! Warp 6, da! Now. Da. Koi kelet pook lod, koi pook bet Yakbo mapo jeshu me, say mapshu me u. Mashu my long, a mapsho chu, nebe is much of war. Coo, but my chest and elzo please, but bob who my dream is correct, but to talk to my bed for my shoe talk. Ma o. Space shanty. Ooh, time for some. Time for some food. More blood oaths? What's going on here? The eyes of Kalish. He's like, oh yeah, go for it. Choose the higher. Oh, I don't know. I'll go. I'll go left. Higher. You win. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Play again. <laughs> Eat first, play later. Move fast, Puck, or the food will be gone. Yeah, let's get the food first. And they really just dis disrespect the elders in this society, don't they? Uh oh. 
Is that his dad? Oh, he's taking it from us. Stab him, stab him good. You're dead. Fuck. By choosing to use a weapon, you made this a fight to the death. He should not have put his knife there for you to use. Still, to challenge a clearly superior fighter with a deadly weapon was foolish. Uh. You show courage, but not much sense. <laughs> Go back and try again. Don't be a permadeath. We're playing. Oh, thank Five God. Stop. Zero, Ooh. zero. One, two, zero, zero. Yeah, in fact, let, let's save just... <laughs> oh my gosh. You are so, dead. so I guess we just smack him in the face. Try that. Well, damn, did we have to wrap it up? Well done. You will go without food tonight, young Park. But tomorrow, even my guards will think twice about challenging you. Yes. You have impressed my crew, and that is not an easy thing to do. Sleep well. But sleep light. You're gonna punch, punch us, knock us out. Oh, yeah, the, the durian, whatever it's called. Dangling. Something with a D. Look, and he didn't even eat, no one even ate it. Scared of us. You eat those worms. Approaching the Volkov system. Park, prepare for standard orbit. Slow to impulse. Orbital track. Any other warships in this system? Nothing in system except a few cargo ships and a small runner vessel. Good. To cloak, drop shields and prepare to beam down to the surface. Park, you're with me. These people trade in assassinations. Death without honor. Stay close. Gotta watch your back with that guy. Oh, alert human. We made it to the second CD. All right. Oh, we've already we already finished CD three, so I would think. So this could be our last CD here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alert human. Hold on. I can initialize him. Please wait. All right, I guess we'll get out some Cedric for that. That's pretty good. Just get a save here. Uh, CD2, okay. There are no weapons allowed in the bar. No weapons? What kind of a Yintok bar is this? Okay, it is that guy. I, I catered to a peace-loving clientele. I'm afraid they don't like violence. And if you still can't take off your weapons, I know there are plenty of other bars in the city that would be happy to serve you, armed to the teeth, if that's what you're looking for. Hmm. I give you my word, no one will be harmed with them. The rule is, no weapons. Expect us to give up our knives, we are Klingons! All right. The disruptors have to go. <sighs> Klingon would feel naked without a weapon. <laughs> you have not been without your knife since you reached the age of inclusion. These newts poo fear the very weapons they sell. Mix yourself up with these people. Try to see what you can overhear. Hmm. And please don't kill anyone. <laughs> Oh, 
not be concerned, Puck. Many things that do not look so can become weapons. <laughs> like your forehead, man. Can I uh, get you gentlemen something? Or are you just here for the music? Oh, a drink, Puck. We should take the time to sample the local spirits, huh? <laughs> Eve Jammy. Give me your knife. Yes. <laughs> Bartender. Beer steins. Uh, uh, you speak Klingon. She speaks bartender. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is uh, a sweet drink made from a fermented talarin berry. <laughs> and this, this. Or nasty, not uh, much of a drink. Hardly worth the effort. Mm -hmm. now this, this is necktie. <laughs> a Belani beverage. <laughs> they say it is made from the reacting fluid distilled in the blood of necktie warriors. Guys, hamming it up. Fatal to the more delicate species. <laughs> Romulan, Ferengi, human. <laughs> it burns going down and sears the stomach as well as the brains. I have known Klingons who have died from drinking it too fast. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, An interesting drink. To Passati. Or the equivalent. Well. For your trouble. <laughs> no trouble. Thank you. Any requests? Hmm. Do you know any uh, Klingon opera? Some. What would you like to hear? The choice is yours. Oh, 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 you humans understand the spirit of Klingon opera. You are a true artiste. The melodies are simple, quite repetitive. The difficulty is handling the tonality. You must be harsh with it, brazen. Ah, you understand Klingons well. <laughs> Sing it again! I wonder if we're gonna see the maiden growl at some point. Really, with that, that won't be necessary. Park, choose! Ooh, what are we gonna choose? We'll take a beer, I guess. Whatever that is. A glass? What is it worth? The song was better than that. Sorry. Take something else. We're playing uh, from time stop. Zero, zero. What else can we pick? A chair? One, three. Zero, zero. The other thing she was already holding. Sing it again! Oh, 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 oh. Yes, this is good. We must show our appreciation. Really, with that, that won't be necessary. Park, choose! All right, whatever this is. Not this, anything but this. Well, aren't I giving it to you? Playing from time stop. Zero, zero, one, three. Because we're giving her the chair. Zero, zero. 
It makes no sense. Sing it again! Really, that, that won't be necessary. Um, maybe we choose nothing. I'm gonna try choosing the chair. Oh, you can't choose it. That was perhaps more than the song was worth. But still, it is done. And we pay for what we destroy. Latinum. It is not acceptable to you. No, no, it is very acceptable. What? Not enough. More than enough. Is there something more you wanted? I could think of one or two things. Information. I thought Klingons took information. I wasn't aware that they paid for it. The money is for the chair. The information oh. you will give us for free. That was part of the chair that he gave. Looking for a weapons dealer. Someone who could get me something. Something like this. I wouldn't know anything about that. I only sing here. But you're not blind. You see who meets who, who sets up the deals. I don't... Stop him! Now whom do they come to see? Mesca. He's the one who arranges it all. Ah. <laughs> ah! You have information! You see? This is why we don't allow weapons on the bar. I never should have let you keep your knives. As I told my young comrade, there are always weapons! And I've been using the knives. <sighs> Alright, be better save before... Uh... I think it's on seven, just in case we make a bad choice and have to go from the start of this disc. All right, I'm gonna go with the drink, whatever the choice is. How often do you serve necktie, bartender? Drinks it too quickly. Have you ever tried it? No? Then tell me what I want to know. Who brings these probes into this system? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 ah, ah, my eyes! My eyes! I can't see! I can't then tell see. me what I want to know! Uh, uh, weapon shipments come through here all the time. I don't ask what they carry. This shipment would have come from the Saltari system. What ship? What ship? Uh, the, 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 the tooth pole. It's a packed lead vessel. Packed Stupid beasts. When? Fifteen hours ago. They left. Headed back towards Salteri. Tanak! Tanak! <laughs> Sir, we return to the ship. Fuck! The neck. Here. No sense in wasting it. Huh? True enough. Well, not too, not too fast there. Picky. All right, let's let's save here. Uh, we're back on the ship. All right, yeah. So we'll pause here uh, for buys. I have to take a bio break anyway, and so we'll be back on the other side. Vessel within scanning range. The pack lead ship. Yes. Cloaking device. Cloaking device engaged. Cargo holds all look empty. Life signs ten humanoids, all pack lead. Let me see this pack lead ship. Pack lead vessel coming within visual range. They're slowing. Quark, you did not engage a cloaking device fast enough. They have detected us. No, Debui. They have a coolant leak. If they do not power down their engines, their warp coil will overheat. <laughs> <laughs> Pack lead. They do not fix their vessels. They do not even understand how. A ship must be treated with honor. And they treat theirs as so much garbage. How can they do this? They are pack lead. <laughs> <laughs> they go to impulse. 
Bring us out of warp. I want to be right in the Packard's face when we engage the tractor beam. Pock, go to number two tactical station. We will make these Packard tell us who purchased the Romulan hunter-killer probe from them. But they must be questioned with care. Frighten the Packard too much, Pock. And you'll never get information from it. At least not information that will be of any use to you. <laughs> Raise shields, decloak, and pull them in with a tractor beam. I want to get as close as possible. No! Well, uh, not there. Tractor beam. We're being hailed. Not surprising. On screen. On screen! <laughs> We do nothing wrong. We are pack led. Oh, we are honest traders. Oh, why do you hold us here? Oh, we need information. Oh, I, I, I don't know anything. No pack led knows anything. <laughs> you are pack led. Yes, we are pack led. Oh, then you have knowledge. You are not stupid. Well, no, we are not stupid. Then you will beam over and tell us what we need to know. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid. I will not beam over. Why? You are Klingon. We are Packled. I do not understand you, Packled. It is difficult to understand. Oh. <laughs> Well, then you must come aboard our ship and explain why you are afraid to come aboard. Yes, I will do that. <laughs> I will beam over and explain. Ah. You are a good negotiator, Captain. <laughs> yes. We are packled. <laughs> I like these packled. You screen off. Four. Go to the transporter room. Park, take his station. Lower shields, release the tractor beams. All right, shields down. Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, that was the cloaking shit. Get us out of here. Hurry. What nine? Puck, what have you done? You've engaged the cloaking device. I Puck. told you not to frighten them. They're powering up the warp engines. Their warp coil has not had time to cool. If they warp up now, they'll... Bye-bye, Packlet. You learn nothing. How can I trust you? Oh, Even at your own station, go back and line the bases, Puck. Or stand down from the bridge. Oh, You're playing from no. time stop. Zero, zero. One, five, zero, zero. Yeah, the, the tractor beam was Ray tougher. shields, decloak, and pull them in with a oh. tractor beam. This whole sequence? As close as possible. No! I guess so, it's, you could see the video. Or the, you could see this. Damn it. We're being hailed. Not surprising. Uh. On screen! We do nothing wrong. We are pack led. Oh, we are honest traders. Oh, why do you hold us here? Oh, we need information. Oh, I, I, I don't know anything. No pack led knows anything. You are pack led. Yes, we are pack led. Oh, then you have knowledge. You are not stupid. Well, no, we are not stupid. Then you will beam over and tell us what we need to know. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid. I will not beam over. Why? You are Klingon. We are Packled. I do not understand you, Packled. It is difficult to understand. Well, then you must come aboard our ship and explain why you are afraid to come aboard. Yes, I will do that. I will beam over and explain. Ah. 
You are a good negotiator, Captain. <laughs> yes. We are pack-led. <laughs> you screen off. Go to the transporter room. Park! Take his station. Lower shields. Release the tractor beams. All right, so this is the shields. Shields and tractor beam, both! Can you not do two things at once? All right, well, I was expecting feedback from the first. From oh, Tiger my God. Oh. Zero, zero, one, five. There was no feedback zero, that it registered zero. the click. Oh, my Ray God. Raise shields, decloak, and pull them in with a tractor beam. Uh, as close as possible. No! God damn it. Yeah, I was expecting to hear that beep sound. Oh, come on. We're being hailed. Not surprised. Uh. On screen! We are packling. We do nothing wrong. We are packled. We are honest traders. Why do you hold us here? Oh, we need information. Oh, I, I, I don't know anything. No pack lead knows anything. You're gonna try. Like shut the fuck up. <laughs> you are pack lead. Yes, we are pack lead. Oh, then you have knowledge. You are not stupid. Well, no, we are not stupid. Then you will beam over and tell us what we need to know. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid. I will not beam over. Why? You are Klingon, we are Packled. I do not understand you, Packled. It is difficult to understand. Well, then you must come aboard our ship and explain why you are afraid to come aboard. Yes, I will do that. I will beam over and explain. Ah! You are a good negotiator, Captain. <laughs> yes. We are packled. <laughs> you screen off. Alright, let's see if we can finally get this. Go to the transporter room. Park! Take his station. Lower shields. Release the tractor beams. One. Two. Yes, okay, good. Oof. Shields up! Oh. Ooh, why did you do that? To frighten you, Captain. Is it working? I am Packlet, so you keep telling us. Tell us one more thing, Packlet. Tell us who purchased your last shipment of weapons from the Sartari system. Who told you that? A friend of yours, Meska, bartender from Barca 2. Yes, he's the one. We sell him many weapons. Contraband. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> bartender. Korea! Are you sure, Packard? Yes, he is the one. He purchases much. I sell him everything. Do you want something? I can get is back off my bridge! I can get you two or something. Set a course back to the Bulka system. Warp 9! We will teach this bartender that Klingons do not like being played with! When we catch this Vec of a bartender, I will let you have the honor of killing him, Pak. <laughs> but a warrior must know more than just how to kill an enemy. Do you know your family's line? Agan, father to Stussy, father to Siga, father to Jan. When you die, if you die with honor, you will serve with all your warrior ancestors in the Black Fleet. And you must know how to greet them all by name. Ha! Dijak. Father to Pak. 
Father to Thor, father to you. He insults me. You must finish this now, Pop. Establish who between you is superior. Roger that. Yeah, run. I shall take your food, sir. It's like a dominance thing. It is over between you. He will not challenge you again. Agreed. He is no longer your enemy. Make him your friend. Show him you honor his past. Sir, we are approaching Bonka. Good. We will repay this bartender who sent us chasing wild Kwame. Ah, ah. Right, let's get a new save here. The Balka district or something? Where is he? You're too late. He's gone. Where? I wish I knew. If you catch him, kill him slowly for me. He owes me three weeks' pay, and the tips in this place aren't enough to keep a wheeze beetle alive. <laughs> if he were here now, I'd personally rip his heart out. <laughs> Who would know where he has gone? Some of his connections, maybe. But they don't come here often, only when they need something. Uh, then we will wait. <laughs> then I will play for you. But you will have to leave your weapons. <laughs> It's a trap. He's got the knives there. Leska the bartender was only a buyer for the real assassin. I suspect someone among my own people to be one of them. Really? How else would the probe have found its way into my own belongings? Tell me, Buck. Whom do you suspect? Could it be the uncle, the brother? I think about the guy on the left, he's a dick to his earlier. and I promise to break something later of equivalent value. <laughs> Delac, I am short of money. Give this woman something and I will repay it twice when we return to the ship. <laughs> ah, Dr. Christus, they are rare in this sector. <laughs> I had some yesterday. They went from my hand into Mesca the bartender's hand. And now somehow they have found their way into your hands! So it was you, Talak! You betrayed me! <laughs> now you will tell me everything. I want to know where the bartender is! <laughs> I thought weapons were not allowed. The rule is for customers only. Ha! Search him! Mesca had dealings on Gaylor, connections. He might have gone there. Gaylor. You know where it is. Take me with you, 
and I'll show you. And get me off this forsaken hole of a planet. I promise I won't get in the way. See that you don't. Come then! Together! <laughs> <laughs> So where, where are we going How now? How far are we from Gaylor? Gaylor. Humans' coordinates were correct within three hours. The humans' coordinates are correct. I hope your navigation is as good. What kind of weapons does a ship have? Nothing a bird of prey can't handle. Picking up a ship within sensor range at warp 6.9. That's him. Shall I engage cloaking device? No! I want him to feel us breathing down his neck. Increase speed 7.5. They're hailing us. On screen. Hello, Galran. I see you have picked up a new bed partner. It is over, Mesca. We have found you. Do not sacrifice your crew. Come aboard my ship. Meet your death honorably. I have no intention of dying. At this distance, his weapons are useless. Mm. You are outgunned. You cannot outrun us. Destroy your vessel and everyone aboard! I do not think so. I'm not so foolish as to work alone. I have a man aboard your ship. Ha <laughs> ha! Delaki is dead! Really? Still, he was with you for some time. Who knows what other betrayals he may be guilty of? Sabotage, perhaps? Perhaps. <laughs> Over there! What is it? Looks like a detonator. It's tied to the antimatter containment field. Shields are dropping. Stop up! Do it! Now! Sabotage. Closing on the ship. Engage tractor beam. This changes nothing, Aliera. I will still destroy your vessel. Kill us, and you'll be dead in minutes. That detonator is set on a timer, a very short one. Now, you will promise to let us go, and I will give you the correct sequence you need to disarm it. How does it work? This must be the arming function. Once it has been set, you must tap in the correct sequence of keys to disarm it. Oh, Time is running out. Is there any way? Better save this because <laughs> this could be bad. To determine the sequence. Do you not understand? I have the sequence. Release tractor beam! At last. I knew you'd see it my way. Lock disruptors on target! Wait, wait! They're bluffing. They won't do it. Idiot! You don't understand Klingons! Alira, this is not one of your Klingon operas! Wait! You want to know who hired me? A Klingon from Tanguaniqua. From an ancient house. Alira, you embarrass yourself. You want a name? I can give you that. A name in exchange for our lives, Garon. I have sworn a blood oath to kill you and all those who are responsible for the death of my friend Torn. Your lives are not a negotiating point. But if you kill us, you will die. Then let us all die together. Fire! See ya. Oh, yeah. We must disarm the detonator now. But only the correct sequence will work. None of us knows what that sequence is. All right, better do just in case. Replace that one. Okay. This is just a guessing game? No one will blame you if you choose wrong, Pop. We are prepared to die. All right, I think you. Maybe we just do nothing. Maybe it's just like um, uh, or not. <laughs> okay, I thought it was like a maybe a decoy. 
since we didn't know did nothing this time your inaction cost the lives of everyone on that ship it is not the loss of their lives which i mourn they were prepared to die but to die by inaction by now you should know better than that i will give you a chance to redeem yourself do not disappoint me Coming uh -huh. on immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Oh. Attempt one of three. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero 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 nine. Wow, so you only get one. You get three chances. Alright, blue. Oh my god, so this is just gonna be like this is gonna be a total trial and error. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt two of three. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero 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 nine zero nine. All right, let's go orange. Nope. We are all dead, Puck, but we died well, staring it in the face, fighting all the way. Might have worked out better had we lived. But there is more to this voyage. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt three of three. Restart program Klingon immersion studies. From time stop zero 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 right. zero zero. Oh no! <laughs> That's the start of the game. All right. Thank goodness we. Uh... We did save, so I anticipated this eventuality. Oh man, all right, uh, yes, bomb please. So we did blue and orange, maybe we do like that. Yep, my next two guesses are gonna be the white button at the top and then the green one. Red no and yellow one would be last. blame you if you choose wrong, Puck. We are prepared to die. What about this? Oh, nothing. Green. Oh, green was right. Red. Nope. Okay, so green is the first one. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Yeah, so is this a reference Attempt to an episode where there's actually. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero 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 nine. Yellow. No. I wonder if it could be the same button pressed twice. Klingon immersion study sequence. Uh. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt two of three. Holodeck running yeah. current program from time stop minus zero zero kind of like attempt zero, zero 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 nine. Hmm. Uh, yellow next. Nope. Alright, green, blue. I guess we'll do orange next. We are all dead, Puck! Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. died well! Did you, did you though? Did we die well? Do I want to save? No. I do not. It's weird how they put Star Trek as one word. Like the... Not on brand. Yeah, if you couldn't say, oh god, imagine you had to play it from the start. <laughs> no one will blame you if you choose wrong. Oh shit! Didn't mean to pause it. Oh, Puck. We are prepared to die. Green, blue, uh, orange. All right, we'll do red next. Green, blue, red. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt one of three. Holodeck running current program from time stop yeah, minus yeah, yeah. zero 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 nine. Wait, 
shit. Why was it green, blue? It was green, blue, orange? Klingon immersion study sequence. Now I've even forgotten the damn sequence. Failed. Attempt two of three. Holodeck running current program from time Tried so many combinations. Zero, 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 yeah, guys, please zero, not hint or whatever. It could also be that the sequence isn't even more than too long. So what was it, orange? No. All right, yeah, yeah, because I did green, blue, orange. Face, fighting all the uh, if only big red if only if only wait no i don't want to save uh, when you interact with chat or whatever when i read that then my um train of thought gets interrupted so it's easy to miss and then having to go through all these damn dialogues and everything what Arbiter's hell. No one will blame you if you choose wrong, Pop. Alright, so green, blue, You're red. Prepared to die. Oh shit, so it's not I it's not any of those. So it's a green or a blue again. Yeah. Cling on we'll try green. study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt one of all right, three. Alright, alright. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero, 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 009. We don't need all the zeros, thank you. Let's go back to green. Fuck. Uh, maybe we hit the white button at the top. We haven't tried blue yet, and that's the other Klingon last thing immersion to try. study sequence. Bomb yes, blast. Yes, yes, yes. Failed. Attempt two of three. Holodeck running current program from time stop. Yeah, as far as I can tell, there's like zero, nothing zero, to go on here. It's zero, zero, pure trial and error, zero, unless it's nine. a show reference, which I don't know. Oh my god, it is blue again. Green again? Fuck. Wow, this is terrible. Uh, so it could be this is even worse now because before i'm like all right it's just like five colors but if you can do anything over again who knows how many colors it's no gonna one be. will blame you if you choose wrong Paul. So dumb. We There's nothing to go on. To die. Could be anything repeated too. Yellow. No. Yeah, this is really stupid. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt one of three. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero zero. We're gonna try hitting zero, that thing zero, up on the right. Zero nine. Whatever that thing is. Probably nothing will happen, but we just have to make sure. Okay, that's nothing. And that's nothing. Alright, orange. Nope. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Well, we know it's not green, Failed. so it's either red or blue again. Three. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero 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 nine. It's blue again. We are all yeah. Dead. It's not like we saw anyone enter in. We never saw anyone enter in the um, enter in the sequence before. Thank God I saved when I did. No one will blame you if you choose wrong, Pop. We are 
prepared. Unless you don't choose. To die. Blue again? No. Nope. Keep on with the blues. Klingon immersion study sequence. Bomb blast. Failed. Attempt one. All right, let's of go back three. to green. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero 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 nine. Green. Klingon immersion study sequence. Uh, Bomb blast. All right, two yellow. Failed. Attempt two of three. Holodeck running current program from time stop minus zero 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 zero. Actually, I'm gonna try hitting zero, the white nine. button just in case it's only four. Se four. No, oh, yellow. Oh, okay. Thank God that was it. singer's aria from Kulchuk. I should have thought of that myself. We have killed the assassins who killed your father, Puck. It was a music puzzle. Until we know who hired these assassins. The oath will not be fulfilled. We will find this Klingon from an ancient house. Set a course for Tenguanika. Okay, I'm almost glad I didn't know it was a music puzzle until afterwards because th that would have made it worse. <laughs> what does it say, Lerot? These words are not for me to read. of respect for Lerat? Yeah. Lerat is full of many old superstitions. He believes it is bad luck to speak proud words about himself. I will read it then. Will you? Lerat. House of Tignor. Warrior son. At the Battle of Teth, he took many blows. At the Battle of Wrath, he killed many men. His arms were strong to hold the battle high. His heart was fierce to keep the enemy afraid. At Teth, at Wrath. At Legon, at Dumath, at Neman. His arms are heavy now with the weight of many battles. His heart is burdened by the press of many honors. When he dies the heavens will shake with the screams of his comrades warning the dead beware beware a warrior is coming May you die with honor, Park. <laughs> it's true, it's true. This 
is a true god. Oh, I see the makings of a warrior poet in you. It runs in your family's blood. Approaching Taganiqua. Come. Prepare yourself to return. Warrior. Ooh. Thank you, Gauron. Thank you. All right, let's do a save for t like Tanguaniqua. Tanguaniqua. I think it was just Tanganika. Your father would be proud of what you have done. The circle of vengeance is closed. The house of Sebish can move on. The circle is not closed until we find the murderer of Thorn. Quaylon killed Vok. You have killed the assassins. Your traitorous guard is also dead. Who else do you expect to find? We still do not know who hatched this plot. The assassin said a clang of an ancient house. It has to be Vok. He is of the house of Inca. Other than the house of Sepish, no other house on Tanganyika is as old. Who else would it be? His wife. But the circle does not feel complete. If you had been able to slay him with your own hands as I did, you would feel differently. It is finished, Gauron. It is not finished, Guitar! I would speak with Gauron. The mate of the Vec who killed my brother may not enter the house of Zephyr. You but talk! Your men have ransacked my home, taken my belongings, my treasures. Fitting payment for what your house has done to mine. My mate was innocent. Let me speak. As head of the house of Zephyr, I refuse to allow you to speak. Raylon, you are not the head of the house of Zephyr. Pockies. Speak to Vok. You say Vok was innocent. Where is your proof? Vok had no reason to kill Torn. The probe was meant for me. Vok had many reasons to see me dead. True, Gauron. My mate wanted you dead. But Vok was no fool. Everyone knows what an honorable man Torn was. He would never have allowed a guest, Gauron of all guests, to be killed in his house. Think of the dishonor. He would die first, as he did. If a man wanted my mate dead, he could aim at you, Gauron, and know my mate would take the death himself. Who knew your father well enough to know this, Paul? And who would gain by Torn's death? The house of Sepich is an ancient house, too. The brother. Is there a murderer among us, Paul? There is. It's you! A brother. You accuse me of killing my own brother? Why? I gain nothing. Nothing. You're, thought you were going to be dead. Unless Buck were dead also. Then you would become the head of the house of Sepish. I deny it. A charge has been made. You must offer proof of your innocence. I will offer proof. Challenge my accuser to the betight. A test of innocence or guilt. Puck, you have made this accusation of your uncle. You must accept his challenge. My men will see to it that the chamber is prepared. No! My men will! Power! Take action. It's gonna be like a duel. Yeah, better save again. We don't know. Park! Son of Torn, the charges have been made. Quiet on! Son of Kampak, the charges have been denied. You seek the judgment of Itai! Quelon, choose your weapon. 
Ooh, this could be interesting. Ooh, he's gonna take the sword of honor or whatever. I'm gonna go with the knife. The, the weapons are chosen. The battle is to the death. To the victor goes the judgment of truth. Begin. And dead. You have watched and trained with the butler since you were a boy. Go with your strength, not your weakness. How do we know we trained with that? Do you doubt your accusation? Do you doubt Quailon's guilt? The Batai will judge Quailon, not you. <laughs> Replaying from time stop. Zero, zero, one, nine, zero, zero. Park, son of Torn, the charges have been made. Quaylon, son of Kampark, the charges have been denied. You seek the judgment of Itai! Quaylon. Yeah, but the knife of the warrior's knife. Choose your weapon. Everyone loves the warrior's knife. Dark lick. Dark tug. Whatever it's called. Why even have a choice if it's gonna be fight of folks? I'm surprised they didn't like give you the option of taking like a gun or something. The weapons are chosen! The battle is to the death! To the victor goes the judgment of truth! Disruptor rifle. Begin. Phaser. Pooh. Then you can understand, Quaylon. You look only at the depth of your own wealth. I must look at that of the empires, and the empire is on the edge of a new era. We cannot be burdened with these unimportant planets. And you will destroy the house of Sepich. I will make the house of Sepich rich with honor. But you will not live to see it, Quaylon. Finish him! Fatality. It is finished. The circle of vengeance is at last closed. Oh. You have done well, my human friend. Thank you, thank you. Better than I expected. Oh. Now you know what it is to be a warrior. I do, I do. You will never be the same. I wonder if I have done right teaching you this thing. Perhaps you have learned it too well. Next time we meet, we may meet as enemies. Oh. And you will know much about me, about us. Yeah, big but mistake, then, Aaron. I, too, have learned much about you, human. Ha! It would be a good match. Hmm? There is more to learn. Things you... you may have missed. Run this program whenever you wish. 
Oh, thank you. And we will travel this road again. <laughs> yeah, pretty bird. And there it is after three hours and 46 minutes. The circle of revenge has been closed. Star Trek Klingon has been defeated. It was a Klingon, our own father's brother, our own flesh and blood. Oh, betrayed him. He betrayed us. He wanted us dead as well. We know the Klingons better than they know ourselves. Oh, man. Yeah, the music puzzle was the bad part about it. The rest was entertaining. Uh, I, I probably agree with the review that said it's really not much of a game. Uh, I mean, I guess it's mildly amusing to pick the, you know, to either guess or knowingly pick the wrong, <laughs> the wrong ones just for fun, the wrong choices. Because, you know, it's over the top acting, which is pretty amusing. Especially the conversation with the... Uh, Lap, whatever, what were the one called? Lap digs or whatever. Um, and then you also had, a, I liked the feast at the beginning with the, <laughs> the tongue and stuff. So there's some good, good things. The, um, yeah, it turns out we probably didn't need to know. <clears throat> Maybe like once or twice the language lab came, came in like where it was moderately useful to know and to get a sense of the, um, the general culture of the Klingons, but yeah, that was definitely not essential. So the manual, the manual lied there. We probably didn't really have, I mean, it was kind of interesting to see it, but that was also like what, an hour and 45 minutes. So really we only spent two hours playing the game itself. Borg has a bit more gameplay, no edutainment. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. So we're gonna give out uh, three Cedrics for the end of the game. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just give out Cedrics for however many hours it takes. We'll give out that many Cedrics at the end of the game. Yeah, for a full price affair, that seems a little bit, a little bit much. Uh, you know, it was fine for what it was, but yeah, it wasn't terribly ambitious. Uh, at least it was mildly amusing. Yeah, it was definitely amusing. It was amusing. The uh, the bomb defusal was annoying for sure. Um, yeah. Oh, Mr. Viking. Thank you so much. Five gift subs from Mr. Viking. 80 total. Thank you, Mr. Viking, and welcome to the Rufus Raptin's Marble, Thainaza, Shino, Tracker, and Jackal Wolf. Thanks so much. Welcome, guys. Wow, Mr. Viking, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this was Mr. Viking's pick. Thank you, Mr. Viking. Thank you. Appreciate it. Spreading some more Rufus Ruffin love. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, was it that new in 1996? I mean, it was nice that it was full screen, probably relative to a lot of its um, counterparts. Sure, so that's that's something to take into account. And it's probably nice, too, that it focuses on, you know, you get this focus on the Klingons rather than having to deal with the regular, you know, Enterprise crew. So that's probably a nice part of it. Um, yeah. I guess the you know had some yucks, and it you know it's short, but that's probably both a good thing and also uh, sort of a bad thing. So yeah, all right, thank you, Mr. Viking. Let's head to our Hall of Adventure, the second Hall of Adventure. We're gonna game number two hundred and forty Star Trek Klingon. Put it up on the shelf.